It's Darian Rock here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to uninstall and reinstall the murder of the Quake Wave. It's an RC car. My my murder has recently died. My murder is over there. Let me zoom in on it. It's over there, and it has died. So first, what you want to do, you want to take the shell off. Let me zoom out. Let's take the shell off. Oh, sorry. So once you've taken the shell off, you want to just unplug the battery. Unplug it. Now it's unplugged. We want to remove the wheel so it's easier to get to the engine. So to remove a wheel, you're going to take this thing, the cross at Allen cross wrench, get the right fit in and just hold it and put it side on. It's coming out. And now it's out. That's this little piece just to keep it in. Now I'm going to get my handy thing. I'm going to put all my screws on this. Now, let me just put that screw away. There. Now we can take the wheel off. Just pull it off. Let me just put this. This just holds it so you can turn. Wait. Now let me just put it all on that thing. Now let's get to the motor. Let me just move it to the other side. Ooh. Sorry. Okay. And there we go. So you see that there is ooh, all these screws. I mean, yeah. It's like that. And that one, and there's one over there. So we have to remove this, those. So get your Allen key. I think it's size two, or two and a half, and remove it. If I didn't mention, this is the Quake Wave, by the way. No, it's two, it's size two. And just remove it. This piece. Now just pull it off. So this is the piece that was on it. Just put the screws away. Now you can see you got your gear and your engines there. What you want to do now, you want to pull these tubes out. So let's do the first one. Black and yellow and Blue and red, okay? Go together. Well, for my one, pull it out. Remember, because and then you got these. Now the engine is hold being holded in by these screws. See that screw? The engine's holding in by that. Now we want to get that out. I get in. 
get that out. Sorry. To get that screw out, just get a Phillips head screwdriver and just screw it out. Now the engine is free. It can go move up and down. See the engine free, it can move up and down. Now over here the gear that's holding it in. Over there You just have to get an Allen key, size one or one and a half. Let's try one and a half. Screw it out, not all the way. It sometimes slips. It's a bit of a strug there, and you hear that click. Screw it. That's all. Not all the way. And it can be pulled out. Yeah, that's the gear. That's the gear. Yeah. Now, all you do, and you can just be pulled out. Now, this is the engine. Thank you. This was part one, how to remove the engine. In part two, I will show you how to reinstall the engine. Thank you and goodbye.